You will do something dangerous today and you don't even know it. It may not be likely to harm you or it may end up injuring you seriously if you don't listen to this advice. I'd listen to what I have to say just to be safe. My name is Danny Berg and this is the top 10 dangerous things you do every day. All right, coming out number 10 now, we have holding back a sneeze. The average person sneezes four times a day. Doctors will tell you they're not meant to be held in. It's a natural phenomenon. A sneeze travels at 500 miles per hour and trying to suppress that can send the energy rippling back into your body. Chances are you guys have done this before and it's turned out just fine. There is a risk though that you can do some serious damage. There have been many cases of people bursting blood vessels, damaging facial nerves, or even fracturing their larynx. If you want to see what can happen if you hold in a sneeze, check out the documentary called Achu. You'll never want to hold one in ever again. Next up at number nine now, we have showering. A lot of people shower once a day. You might be wondering how standing still while water hits you can be dangerous, but accidents do happen. According to the Center of Disease Control and Prevention, about 16,000 people a year die from falling out of the shower. The answer is obvious. It's very slippery. You guys might think you're a pro at showering. I've had a few showers in my time, but you can never be too careful. Coming at number eight now, we have pimple popping. Pimples are meant to be popped, right? Well, Possibly not. Pimples are nasty, and the best way to deal with them is through acne cream or medication. Popping them open puts the skin at risk of infection. This is especially risky if you pop a pimple in what's known as the triangle of death, the area around your nose. It contains essential nerves and blood vessels that carry blood to your brain. If you get an infection there, the inflammation could lead to blindness or even a stroke, so I've heard. That's obviously a worst case scenario, but one you should probably avoid. Moving on to number seven now, we have texting while walking. We all know that texting while driving is incredibly irresponsible and leads to many deaths all year round, but there's also an ever-growing number of accidents that occur because people are texting or just using their phone while they walk around in the streets. Ohio University found that between 2005 and 2010, the number of pedestrians admitted to hospital after they were distracted by their phone while walking rose 600% along with the rise of smartphones. Some places in the US are taking this so seriously, they've even started giving fines to people who walk and text. All right, next up at number six, we have using the stairs. You might think stairs are pretty harmless, but some people would beg to differ. A 2012 report found that every six minutes, an American child under the age of five falls down the stairs and is rushed to hospital. A British study from the year before that found that almost 700 people in the UK die from stair-related incidents every single year. Now obviously, statistically, the chances of you getting seriously hurt by stairs are slim, but still, take them one step at a time. Coming at number five now, we have using your phone while charging. This is pretty unlikely to happen, but there have been many cases of people's phones exploding while they're charging. This can happen because of an old charger, or maybe it's like a knockoff one not made by the actual phone maker. Sometimes it can simply just be overcharged. Either way, the battery ends up exploding. If it blows up in your hand, it can leave you with a vicious burn. What's even worse though, is the horror stories of people speaking on the phone when it blows blows up in their face. It's best to make sure your phone and charger are always in good condition and don't overcharge. Moving on to number four now, we have cooking. Cooking is an admirable skill, but it can be dangerous. A report from the US Consumer Product Safety Commission said there are about 17,000 serious accidents that occur from gas cooking every single year. You've also got the obvious danger of using sharp knives while preparing food, but also the not so obvious dangers. Did you guys know that 2,000 people around the world injure themselves trying to pull apart frozen food every single year. Crazy. Well, now you do. Coming at number three now, we have staring at a screen. I know, right? Isn't sitting there staring at a computer screen one of the least dangerous things ever? Well, obviously in the short term, yes. But the Journal of the American College of Cardiology published research that suggested spending more than four hours a day staring at a screen could increase the risk of a heart attack and a stroke by 113%. Huh, 
That is extremely worrying for me because I usually spend about six or seven hours a day staring at a screen. I was staring at a screen when I wrote the words that I'm saying to you guys right now. This research is concerning. Next up at number two now, we have not sleeping enough. Are you guys getting enough rest? Be honest, a lot of us aren't. Teenagers need a lot of sleep and the rest of us need at least seven or eight hours a night. The reasons are obvious on a day-to-day -day basis, but in the long run, lack of sleep can have serious health effects. Studies have found that chronic sleep loss can cause heart disease, heart attacks, heart failure, irregular heartbeats, high blood pressure, strokes, and even diabetes. And finally, at number one, we have getting out of bed. Yes, you guys might think this is something you literally cannot hurt yourself doing, but many people do. According to the Center for Disease Control, falling out of bed results in 1.8 million people being rushed into emergency care every single year. The most likely people to be affected by this are the very young, to whom a bed is a much bigger object, and the very old who don't have the strength or the balance that they used to. Yes, death by getting out of bed may seem ridiculous, but it's something that everyone does, so it was always going to go badly somewhere, somehow. And somehow, the video is over. How do you guys feel about that? Do you want just one more top 10 list to get you through the day? Let me know what you want to see next on the channel. My name is Danny Bird. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video.